wish we could zoom in now on a thermometer because apparently it's supposed to be frigid tonight. Yeah. It's dropping into the sub zeros. Well, not sub zeros, but definitely below freezing. And I think in that I'm just going to fill myself full of wine and crawl off the van. <laughs> oh, I yeah. do have an extra blanket. I may watch a little TV. Right. And the good thing about this, actually, we all wish you could scope it out. I mean, we go outside, but it's cold, so we won't go inside. But you can scope out that um, there's plenty of places to pee around here. It's actually <laughs> I'm serving the perimeter. It's pretty private. So we parked on a pretty flat land. Actually, I can give you a little scoop on what you're looking for when you're looking for your place to park your van. You want yeah, let's incline? let's do that. This um, this is good stuff right here. You want to be out on the up and coming hobos. You want to be looking around. You want to you know check out your neighbors, see is there anyone there that's going to be peeking their head out early when you want going to take a leak early in the morning because. That's not good. It's not good at all. I should know what time I was uh, with. For one of the first times I stayed with AJ, and <laughs> um, I was not so smart. I wasn't that prepared. And I didn't have what every good guy, fan young guy, should have, which is a good pee jug and a have a good pee jug. All I had were some discarded ventes from Starbucks. And um, after I went through two grande latte sized peas, I had to go outside, so I was going to lose spill over. So I walked outside. There were two AG's neighbors. Walking their, are they going to walk in their dog? Walk in their cat? Or walk in walk their, in their cat. Walk in their cat. Yeah, that's true. Who walks a cat? <laughs> so what I've learned here, I don't have going on, is I, I have a fence on one side. There's a fence over there. Mom has a fence. There's some rolling stock over here and a garden, which means that yep, I'm covered. I can go out for a pee anytime I want to. I'm not, if I wake up, now what happens is you wake up around four or five in the morning. <laughs> it's going to be real cold, and you're going to want to pee. And you're thinking, man, is it worth going outside and losing my privacy <laughs> just to feel comfortable and be able to sleep? And sometimes it isn't. But I think in this situation, yep, I'm checking all the signs. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to be fine. I can have as much wine as I want to go to sleep. <laughs> still make it through. <laughs> uh, any any other tips for the up and coming hobos? Um, Level van, good private uh, urinating facility. That's good. Well, if you listen right now, you're hearing you're hearing some a little trick I like to do. What I'm doing is I'm preheating the van. <laughs> um, I like to have internal. I, well, I've, I've closed up, battened up all the hatches. I've turned on the heat. I'm getting as warm as I possibly can, and I'm gonna have to be quick about letting H A out at the end of the night. <laughs> you don't want to lose any valuable heat. That keep you going. <laughs> no in and out uh, privileges. Right. For the right. van. Well, that about sums it up. I hope you enjoy your hobo life. <laughs> it's been good to me. I know I have. Right.